Welcome back to more Let's Play Luthia Blind. In the last episode, we pretty much spent the whole episode in this cave looking for... What was that girl's name? Reyna, I believe it was? Anyway, we were sent into this cave to find Reyna. And we pretty much spent the whole episode running around here stupidly trying to figure out what to do and going in circles, which is not surprising, to be honest. But anyway... We're gonna try to make some progress in this video. I can't guarantee anything, considering this is a blind let's play. And that's what blind let's play is all about, is, is getting lost and not knowing what the heck you're doing. And why the heck am I attacking those guys? Normally I need to use a magic spell on them. Come on, Lufia, there you go. Perfect. So let's see. It's been a little while since I recorded. It's, it's not been that long. Not as long as the gap between the previous recordings, but it's been about a week or so, so I'm not sure. I don't remember exactly like the path and everything. But hopefully it'll be straightforward enough. But if it was straightforward, I should have found it last episode, so I don't know. We'll just have to see what things how things go down. I'm getting somewhat close to a level up. Probably, I might do a little bit of grinding depending on how far I am, how close I am to the level up at the end of this episode or whatever. So I, I try to do that a little bit. If uh, I'm really close to a level up before I start an episode, then I do a little bit of grinding just to bump me up and make things a little bit easier. Because as I mentioned before, I've heard a few things about this game. It's a little bit difficult and some grinding might be needed. So that's just my plan for this game. So, I'm probably going to be going back in places I've already been to, because like I said, it's been about a week, and I don't remember exactly where I have and haven't been, so I apologize if I run around in circles again, hopefully I won't, but as I said before, I can't make any guarantees. One thing I did do, though, is I did come up with a list of a couple things we could, I could talk about in case I ran out of stuff to talk about, so it wouldn't just be me just being like, oh, hey, we're gonna go do this, or we're just running around in circles, or just talking about whatever the heck is going on in the game, so I can actually talk a little bit, kind of like I did with the episode 12, I believe it was, how I, pretty much the whole episode we were talking, I was talking about, like, my experience with Pokemon, and that was, that was actually really, um, I really enjoyed that one because I actually had something to talk about rather than just bumbling around talking nonsense like I usually do. I know, who would have thought, right? I just came up with that list just to make sure. It's not a long list, it's a couple of things I could talk about in case I did run out of things to talk about, which probably will happen because I am prone to forgetting things and trailing off randomly. Oh, this looks new. This might be where we need to go. Okay, yeah, this is definitely new. Uh, this is... Choose a path, huh? Okay. Alright, so let's see. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Let's go to the left one. Let's see, what is down here? Anything good? Ooh, there's a treasure chest. I knew there was some more significant... What? Okay then, that bridge has a hole in it apparently. Good to know. I think there was something I was going to talk about before I fell through that bridge, but... I can't think of it anymore, I've forgotten already. Good job, me. Jolt. Getting really close to a level up. Smoke ball. Okay, let's go back up. Okay, so that just brings us back up. So that's not really that much of good use. Okay. So let's try the right staircase. I honestly haven't been paying too much attention to my health. In that last battle, I just realized Lufia was getting a little low. So going to heal up a little bit here. And why am I using Lufia's magic? I should use mine. Uh, whatever, we're healed up pretty much anyway. Doesn't matter much. What you want to bet I'm gonna run right into a hole in this bridge too. Yep, 
told you. I freaking knew it. So I guess this is going to be trial and error. Figuring out, I'm just going to... Okay, well that bridge is apparently completely out of commission. So I guess I was right the first time. Stick with the left bridge. Yay. Alright. Wait, what? Um... Both are out. That's... Okay. Okay, I think I, I think I might know how we, what we can do. But not 100% sure it'll work, but... I mean, it's gotta, right? There's gotta be a way to cross that. So, what I'm thinking is that we go back up here. And... Go to magic real quick and use float. There, nope. I thought that would work. Well, huh. What do I do? If we can't, both bridges are out, so we can't go across the bridges. I guess we have to backtrack and see if there's a way that we missed somehow, which is probably what happened. Probably, I, th I believe there was a second pass, like, higher up, that, because I went, there was, like, two, there was a left pass and a right pass, and I went to the left. Arm statue. Interesting. That's probably, like, a stone spell or petrify spell or something. Kind of like Break from Final Fantasy or something like that. That's what I'm going to assume. It would make the most sense to me. Then again, some of these spell names don't make much sense anyway, so whatever. Spell potion. Power potion. Okay, so I'm assuming what those do is power potion increases strength and spell potion increases magic. Yeah. So, yeah, there we go. That works. Great potion. Okay, that's probably just a regular healing item if I had to guess. I really wish there were item descriptions in this game. That would be pretty nice to have. But, I guess, gonna have to deal with it. Because they were stingy with the programming. Alright, let's see. What is it? Ooh, hello, there's a guy here. Anything in the box? No, anything in the chest? Mind potion. What do you got? Okay, sure, we'll help. These are not what they appear to be. Okay, a lot of help that does me. Unless it actually changes something in the dungeon. Which is pr it probably changes something. Now that I think about it. Like perhaps the bridges are fixed or there's some alternate path or something. Probably. That didn't mean a whole lot of good though, just telling me that. So, surely they probably actually changed something rather than just saying there's from in other words he said there's like an invisible wall or something somewhere but that doesn't really help me let's see let's go down and see if anything changed here oh yeah okay well the bridges fixed themselves that's something new hmm doesn't appear anything's been changed so it might just be like an invisible pathway or like a fake wall or something I have to admit, the control is a little bit different than what you would expect from a Super Nintendo game. Not only because of the unique battle interface here, but because um, I'm using a joystick instead of a control pad to move around. And uh, generally, when I play these games, I like to use the, prefer the control pad because I should... Okay. Figured there's something to do with there, but anyway, like I was saying... When I generally play these older games, considering they had like a control pad originally, that's what I use it for, but the only controller that I have has a, uh, the control pad isn't really that great. It's, uh, it's not as bad as the Xbox 360 control pad, but it's not great either, so I generally don't use it. I just use the, use the control stick instead. I could, I could technically switch it at any time, because I have this button that changes me using the 
the stick versus the control pad. It basically switches the two functions of them. Speaking of this controller, I got it for a really good deal, actually. Um, it's an, it's a, not, it's, yeah. Can't talk, give me a second. The layout's basically like a PlayStation 2 controller, but it's a specific, special gaming controller. I got it for a really good deal. For, it was $5, I think. It was really good. For $5, it definitely works well. Actually, the other day, I went to go buy a, a, can I not move? Oh, right. The other day, I actually went to the store and picked up a PS3 controller to see if that would work even better, but actually, this controller that I got here actually works even better than the PS3 controller. Granted, the PS3 controller was an off-brand, it wasn't an official Sony one. You can just tell... I've got the box here still with me. I'm planning to take it back in a little bit, in a few days probably. But anyway, it's like it's off-brand controller, and you can just definitely tell the the quality isn't there. And it was pretty cheap, so I wanted to pick it up and try it. But I'm not gonna spend what is it like forty dollars on a PS3 controller when the controller I got works well enough anyway. I don't see the point? Luffy is almost dead, and everybody's almost dead actually. Uh, I need I need to be paying more attention to my health. So. Potion, bro. Everybody, heal yourself. There we go. In other news, the other day I actually completed the. Uh, I got a. If you guys didn't know, there's a Phoenix Wright trilogy got released on the eShop recently. It was. A couple weeks ago, I think, probably uh, almost probably about be about a month or so before you see this. By the time you see this video, but it's a couple weeks ago, it has uh, all three of the first Phoenix Wright games. If you've never heard of Phoenix Wright, I highly recommend you check it out. Because if you don't, bas if, basically, if you don't know what Phoenix Wright is, it's you're a lawyer, and the whole thing involves you defending your clients and by gathering evidence and yelling objection at every corner. It's it's a lot of fun, actually. It, it's based off Japanese court, which is a lot different than American court. So it actually makes it fun. As if court, because court, just everybody knows court is not, actually, is not fun in real life. Everybody knows that. This is the reason I'm not going to be a lawyer when I, uh, for my career. Anyway. Like I said, it, it pretty much makes a whole mockery of the whole court system. And uh, this is based off Japanese court, not American court. So I would highly recommend checking it out if you haven't already. It's definitely worth a, a look. I mean, like I said, you can get the trilogy on the 3DS eShop. I think it's thirty dollars, and you get first all first three games. And uh, they're they're all the yeah. the first three games are originally released on. Uh, let's just get out of here. We're originally released on the regular DS, but. They recently re-released it on the eShop as a trilogy with slightly updated graphics. So, some some of the graphics are kind of kind of neat and bring out some details, and some of them just look kind of weird. And I don't know, just kind of my personal opinion to be honest. But there's Reina. There we go. Miserable phantom, how dare you kidnap the weak and helpless? Do you know how long I've waited for her? Miserable humans, I won't let you stop me. Of course. Boss battle! Yay! Let's see. Uh, let's see, statue. I'm considering using. You know, let's use a drain real quick. Might help. Um, girl used to attack. Lufia, Lufa, try bang. See how that does. Ooh, 33. Yeah, he's pretty powerful. Um, let's strain him one more time. And then attack. 40, okay. Not that good, but not that bad either. So, uh, Lufia, actually, why don't you go ahead and choose this mid arrows? And I'm going to try this poison and see what poison does. Mm. 
the poison it, it might actually be a poison healing spell so that's what I'm thinking it might be <laughs> excuse me um Luffy I just use a mid arrow me I'm gonna attack and Aburo you just attack as well I think let's see hmm Poison pin. Well, that'll give him poison damage. That'll be pretty neat. Oh, I missed. Really? All right. Uh, Luffy mid arrow. Drowsy, huh? Doesn't take so much of a stretch, much of a stretch of imagination to figure out what that does. All right. Let's see if we have. I need to heal up a little bit, but Luffy, won't you heal me? And then, oh, shield, okay, magic resistance. That's fine. We're not really using that much magic anyway. Uh, I want to see if I have any healing items for uh, sleep. Awaken, there we go. Perfect. Uh, Lufia, why don't you use this bomb? See how much the bomb does. Oh, that was wasted in awake then. Whatever. Doesn't matter that much. We can always buy more. I think. I hope. A 13, that didn't do much damage at all. Alright, do one more drain. Let's see if we can lower his defense a little bit more. And... Let's see. Bang probably won't do that much. Mid arrow. Alright. Just pretty much just regular attacks at this point. Ah, oh, crap. I'm sleeping. And there goes Lufia too. Oh, fudge! Sickles. Come on, wake up! Where's that poke flute when you need one? Actually, poke, poke flute is not one. What am I saying? Don't you dare! You stupid son of a nice lady! There, dude! Don't you dare put me to sleep! There. All right, I'm gonna heal Lufia. There we go. She woke up. Perfect. Alright, Lufia. Stronger on Agoro. And I will... What am I gonna do? Oh, there's high arrows. Okay, she's gonna have Lufia use that next turn. Alright, Lufia. Where's high arrows? There we go. Perfect. And then... I'll do one more drain. See if I can drain his defense a little bit more. Yeah. Alright. 44. Doesn't seem to be... I mean, it says his defense is lower, but it doesn't seem to be affecting much, though. I'm wondering if it really is lowering his defense or not. Alright. Uh, stronger on... Mm, nah. Let's, nah, let's not do stronger. Let's, uh... Mid-arrow. Yeah, we should have done stronger on me. Alright. Well, I'll do strong on me, and then Luffy I will do stronger as well. There. Okay. She's getting a little bit low on magic, though, which is unfortunate. Alright. Guru, We have, like, high potions, don't we? Yeah. Just heal yourself. Oops. I didn't exactly mean to do that. Whatever. Doesn't matter much. Uh, stronger on yourself. Ooh, that's... Yeah, definitely need to heal her. Alright, Agoro. Uh, let's see. I'll wait a little bit on that high magic. Let's see if I can we can beat him before her magic runs out. She's about to run out, though, which is unfortunate. Alright, um... Yeah, I can't do... Well, it's not, we're not using Bang that much anyway. Uh, just mid arrow, and then a girl's next turn. I will, which is right now. I will put have heal Lucas magic. That's what I'm assuming. And high magic does is heal magic. That would make sense. There we go. Got him. Good thing I didn't waste it. 
Grow leveled up. All right. Yeah. Right, Elfria, we were, that's where we're supposed to go. That was in Belgen. Southeast of Midden, okay. Alright, so apparently that's where we gotta go next. Uh, I was being a little silent during the cutscene because um, I've been considering, try, trying to consider whether I should like read the text or just let the text play out. I probably should read it, to be honest, but I've uh, just been kind of tossing that back and forth. I did a little bit of voice acting kind of thing earlier in the game, but I'm just not sure if I should keep doing that or if I should just normally read them or what. But anyway, uh, that'll do it for this episode of Lufia Blind. Um, next time, we're going to head to whatever, what was the town? Belgen? Almost sounds like Belgium to me. In the town that's southeast of Maiden with the elves and all that. So... I will see you guys next time. Bye now.